Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 351. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and welcome back. <laughs> um, the last time when I did this, everybody seems to like it, so we're going at it again and see how this goes. Yeah! <laughs> So, um, for you audience who are listening to this on the iTunes and Stitch Radio, um, you might be confused. And that's because that uh, I'm doing the podcast with a video feed now. Um, the YouTube has something special to... I, I won't say something special. I just say this. Um, YouTube had that video where people could just look at it, like uh, a commenter reference something that, oh, if... They wanted to check it out. They don't have to click on the links in the show notes. They can just click on the video or pause the video and just look at the pictures, whatever is going on. So uh, I'm trying this now and we'll see how it goes because it seems like it's a very cool way to do things now. So yay, I'm trying out. It's fun and I really enjoy doing videos, I think. <laughs> Uh, we'll wait till something disastrous happens. Yes, this is the MBS show. Drops will happen some way, somehow. So anyway, let's hit on to the fear. <laughs> let's hit on to the first news. So in first news, strange Lego style ponies appears on Amazon. Ooh. So um, this is interesting. It seems that there's a listing on the Amazons for this quote-unquote lego figures and they're not going for cheap they're uh what 55 dollars 96 cents let's just round it up to 56 dollars and what they're presenting to us is um let's just say that ah uh, <laughs> i have questions like um they ask you have a question i do what how why who's making this and in all honesty, there's a few answers for this. Uh, it could be Mega Blocks because if I'm not mistaken, uh, Hasbro owns Mega Blocks, so this could be their line of plastic Lego thingies, possibly, or uh, it could be some China-made blocks because I've seen them around before and. They're quite interesting. Like, I didn't buy them because A, I didn't want to spend my cash on it. And B, I don't think that they're good. So, anywho, um, the qualities of this are questionable at best because the molding here are similar to, uh, whatchamacallit, this, the blind bags. And even if they're non-blind back ponies they they just look off like something's not right about them and yeah a few of this are pretty expensive uh, you have this set here which is the uh, now, now i'm really questioning it says hasbro my little pony toy crystal castle rarity applejack model building blocks kit action figure model doll toys for kids eight Eight pieces, sorry. So yeah, it's for a set of this it's what twenty nine thirty bucks. So in all honesty, I would say that these are not official, these are not licensed, these are just some China brand that people um just sell it on Amazon. Which is kind of concerning. So yeah. If you want to try and buy them for yourself, go ahead. But I would highly recommend that you save your cash for something else. Yeah, because them toys don't look so good. Oh, uh, this reminds me of an old story that we covered before. Way back in the days, uh, Lego did their project thingy called Lego Kuso. I think that was what, in the 2000s or something? Sorry, uh, 2012s. So... Uh, Lego had this thing where, okay, come on creators, uh, try and create something for us so we could try and sell it out. And some people created like uh, DeLoreans or this or that. 
and one guy he created ponies it and it was on a voting system and you know what happens when you put ponies into votes people will vote for him and it went so far to the point where lego had to kind of um stop it because even though they like it it's kind of something that they can't control because of the ips and whatnot it's kind of obvious when you really think about it but it sucks yeah but anywho on to the next news and in the next news well because you're going spring break down special airs march 30th so if you guys got no idea what this is a while back during comic con i think um megan mccartney and the rest showed a sample of what's to come for equestria girls and if i'm not mistaken this is the fifth equestria girls movie or quote unquote telly movie and this one is starring eagles on a spring break thing remember the story that they did with the shadow bolts where they are going to go on a a uh, boat trip and what not and the uh, rain booms will play songs for them so yeah it seems like this is related to that probably and uh says here that um equestria girl spring breakdown special will air on march 30th at 11:30 a.m. eastern on the discovery family so that's cool i can't wait to watch this uh And honestly, I don't really want to read the synopsis because it's kind of spoiler. And for me talking about it, it's already a spoiler. So yeah, let's not go into more spoilers. So I would, sorry, <laughs> what I would say is that you guys should go catch this one out because it is really fun. And even though you don't really like the quest struggles, I would highly recommend that you go check this one. out because there's a lot of who ha and insanity is going to happen like trust me you are going to love it and well that's the news for this week a really short news what you call this week uh, nothing really happening in terms of what's going on and what's going around the what you call this um pony news things um, there's a few here and there like game loft and what not but i i am guessing by now we all stop playing the game loft games if you are playing those games good on you but personally for me i've stopped and yeah so nothing much in terms of what's around the pony news so anywho let's hit into my favorite topic what have i been doing with my week so Um my week has been pretty okay. Um smooth, slow and what not. And one of the few things that I kind of wanted to do is try work on the video right now or technically the quality of the video right now. One of the few things I noticed from the previous upload was that the video was not in high quality. Like if you check out the gear on the YouTube it was only at for 50 for 80 for 80p something like that so i was wondering why was it at 480 and i did a bit of research or i did a bit of checking and on my obs it seems that i set it to a very low uh, profile kind of thing or very just very low quality so i'm hoping that with this one here right now i have it at a high quality where the video would look good yes so besides that um what else can i say i hope that this video comes out perfectly and awesome but uh, it's still work in progress still learning um i'm not really a video guy i been what spending almost 7 years doing audio so suddenly to jump to video is a surprise and it's a pleasant surprise i really like it <laughs> Um other than that I've been playing a bit of games here and there. I did mention to you way back when I do play a lot of Street Fighter 5 and Overwatch and 
not really recently, but I dabbled in uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and since the new characters came out for season two, which are Fidel and Jiren, they're a lot of fun. Uh, but they're not my characters. Like I played with them, I I don't really like them that much. But getting back into it, I love the game. the The game is super fun. The game is <laughs> how do I put this? It's just like watching an anime. Like you're playing the anime. Like you're reliving the scenes. Like th- those are a lot of fun. And on to other gaming news. I played the Devil May Cry Five demo that came out for the PS Four. I've told. I, I I didn't think I told you guys, but I love Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 5, this one, I'm going to buy it. And playing the bit of the demo, I it didn't feel really nice. It didn't feel really there. And in the back of my mind, I've been thinking like, oh, this demo, the feel, I feel restricted. I feel limited. Like, uh, I think I could have done more if the game is full and unlocked. Like, I, I want to buy the full game. I think that's what is enticing me to buy the game. So, I, I'm going to buy it. Like, um, it comes out, what, in two weeks' time now? So, yeah, probably I'll be playing more than when we cry in the future. So, yeah, um, that's, that's it for what I have I been with my week. But in all honesty, um, in terms of movies that recently came out I should be checking them out like so quote unquote potential spoilers for movies I watch of 2008 no 19 yes 2019 um, if I do get the chance I would love to watch uh, what you call this uh, How to Train Your Dragon the third one and that Dave uh, what, Jim Cameron movie or Dave Cameron whatever it is yeah the guy, uh, I, what was that, three D anime movie with the freakishly big eyes, Atalia or something like that? Yeah, I want to try and watch that one because it seems like fun. A friend of mine go, sorry, a friend of mine, he went and watched it, and he mentioned that there's a few scenes here and there, blah blah blah. Long story short, he gave it a three point five out of five. So. I'm guessing that's a bit high praise. So yeah, I'm going to try and watch it for myself. And here's the thing. For this movie reviews or just watching movies, I have a philosophy where if the movie is great, it's great. Then I can just talk about it on the movie show. If it sucks, then I have something to rant on the movie show. So it's a win-win for you guys. Yay. <laughs> So, um, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. So, let's not dilly dally and let's wrap it up. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. And you can also catch us on polyvalive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio for the Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, Totera, doing what we do normally, which is reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and sometimes we like to do some other things. Ooh. Uh, one of those few things are the America's Ladybugs and Patreon-sponsored videos. You're going to like what we're going to do in two weeks' time now. We did an anime. Not going to say what, but it's a lot of fun. For you Patreon-sponsored people, oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, for you Patreon people, uh, you'll get early access to what we'll be doing and that'll be coming out next week so yay and yeah if you like to sp- <laughs> and if you like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show with every support you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts exclusive and deleted content 
and a huge thank you from me and talking about the thank yous i would like to thank amy lucky knight tristan starstream lurker cat jeffrey and myself like thank you so much guys you're great and if you're wondering why am i looking here and here and here i am reading a script <laughs> I I I I don't do this well. I I don't remember things off the cuff of my head. <laughs> uh, I'm digging myself into a hole now. But anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the NBS show. See ya.